Hi, I'm Sword TV Gamer. Hope you're doing okay. Today, I'm going to teach you how to kill Godric. I'm using the Great Sword plus two and Nefeli, the Barbarian, and that's all I use. I also have my Charisma and Tears up to plus four. So the first thing I want to say is, when you come in, lock on him and prepare to roll forward like that. And then get a swing or two in, and then be ready to roll back out. Now, as you can see, Nefeli is distracting him, and I take turns. I get his attention, and then she gets his attention, and we go back and forth. I try to focus on attacking from behind as much as I can. Uh, Godric is like a rolling dice. You never know what kind of move he's going to do until he starts doing it. Some moves are better than others, and what I mean by that is, sometimes it's best to let him just do his move and wait for another move. That way, you'll be able to attack him at the right time, not take that much damage, if at all. Something I didn't know was that you can actually trigger him to do the move that you want by slowly going forward and backward until he does the move that you want him to do. In the meantime, just dodge and do your best not to get hit. Cool thing about a heavy weapon is that you can actually do a stun animation on Godric, which makes him unable to move or do anything. You can go ahead and attack him from the front or from the back, and when you do that, you'll do a considerable amount of damage. It's actually really, really fun and satisfying, so I highly recommend if you're using a heavy weapon to try to get him at least once, because he's, he's a jerk. He deserves it. Now when it gets to 50%, he'll go ahead and chop his own arm off and replace it with a dragon head. So now he's 50%, what do you do at this point? Well, he ends up chopping off his arm, like I said, and he ends up gaining an ability to shoot fire in all directions. And it's really frustrating, especially when you have to get close. But that's the key, get close when he's using the fire breath, because chances are you're going to be able to do some damage. The only move that I would say to watch out for is when he's doing tornado and turning the tornado into a flame. That's when you need to stay away because fire is hot. Last thing I didn't know about this boss is that when he's doing the forward breath where he's walking forward and shooting out fire, you want to hide behind his right butt cheek. He won't be able to hurt you. You can actually hit him. But other than that, I would say get Nefeli to do damage and aggro him and then you aggro him by doing damage. You take turns with her. The last few seconds of the fight is going to be up to you most likely because Nefeli can't last throughout the entire fight. So you're going to have to do as much damage as you can, but don't give up. You'll be able to do this and keep in mind that a lot of people have died. It's not just you. It's a challenging boss. So I wish you luck. Stay olden and have fun.